Hello everybody, this is Ryan here with a deck review for Hocus Pocus. Today we're going to be looking at the Templar deck. This deck was produced and distributed by a company named Bocapo based out of Hong Kong. The designers are based out of London with a company named Chateau Pop, and they were produced by the United States Playing Card Company. There's two different versions, the brown and the gold, and there's 2,500 of each printed. So let's start off with a closer look at the box. So the theme of the deck is the French Templar Knights. The two tuck boxes are basically the same except for the color. The front features an archway filled with some symbolic imagery. Templars printed across the front and underneath that is the United States Playing Card Company and designed by Chateau Pop. Both sides have the same detail with the Eye of Providence or the all-seeing eye at the top and the bottom and the Hazma hand which is an image of an open right hand and it's a symbolic for protection in many different cultures. The bottom of the box has some information about Bocapo and their website, and the top has some more symbols, and the tuck flap has limited edition printed on it. The back of the box doesn't depict the card backs exactly, but it has some of the uh, same images, just in a different layout. There's the Eye of Providence that's in the center, surrounded by some more detailed line art that depicts some religious icons and I guess some Templar symbols. So Bocapo states that they print all their cards on B stock with a cambric finish. They have a nice picture on their website depicting the different layers of the playing cards. Uh, the card backs again are filled with a nice layout of different images. The brown and gold differ just a little bit. The gold deck has a slightly larger image and fills more of the card and the border is more free flowing. The only colors used are white and gold. On the brown deck it has a slightly smaller image, same uh, in design though, and it utilizes various different shades from brown to like an antique or a weathered gray tone. They also have a traditional solid white border for the brown deck. With the cards you get two jokers. Uh, the design appears to be like a ram skull in the center of a dream catcher like hoop. Uh, one of the jokers has a reveal of the seven of clubs. You also get an ad card with some information about Bocapo and a double backer is included with both of the decks. The ace of spades is custom and it features a highly decorated skull with some symbols pulled from the card back in the tuck box. The other aces are standard. The court cards are printed in a different hue and they have a unique pattern around the edges. It provides just enough difference to kind of keep them unique, but it's also recognized as a traditional style. The number cards are all standard bicycle pips and layouts. The brown deck, however, has an antique or aged finish over all of the face cards. So these cards handle extremely well. They have a very clean edge. The stock is nice and firm, but flexible. The finish is what you'd expect from a quality USPCC deck. I personally like the gold deck over the brown deck for the non-linear border and the contrast between the white and the gold, but the brown deck has its pros too. There's more variation in the color on the back of the deck. It has a clean white border around the front and the back has the uh, nice antique finish on them. So as a collector I really like this deck for the box art, the fact that there's two different versions. I always like the card back design to match the tuck box back, but in this case, it's similar enough that you kind of get a feel for the deck without having to keep it open. So the cardist and the magician will appreciate the combination of the stock and the finish. They handle like one of the better USPCC decks. The B stock is there for the durability. The card back design shows up nice and flourishes, even if you can't see it in full detail. The only downside I see is the brown deck has a plain white border on the card back and has a colored face so a reversed card in the deck shows up a little bit easier but on the same side that textured design is printed in a one-way direction. All in all this is a great deck to use or to collect. The combination of great box art design, card back design, quality in the cards and finish all come together to make this a deck set that's a must-have. So stop over at hocus-pocus.com and pick yourself up a set of the gold and the brown decks. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more reviews.